Hey, it's Goldgas here. This episode we're going to look at the sump replacement on the Logic Combi and the other ideal combis as well that are similar design, independent, C24, I range. Here's the crack on the old sump. It's always in the same place, that right hand side, you can see a little hairline crack. That will leak out products of combustion and should be changed. Make the appliance safe, you all know how to do that. Sump cover off, flue ducked out. Then you want to take out the condensed trap. Disconnect the pump plug. Remove the gas valve. Remove the spark generator and the plate. With a little pair of grips, undo those three front clips. Didn't mean to rhyme there. Gonna disconnect the cable from that left hand side sensor so I don't knock it. And then you wanna start pushing down the sump and breaking the seal and trying to get those back clips off. And then with a couple of flathead screwdrivers, get in there, get in those corner bits and just try and disconnect that sump. The back three clips, you just need to prise them off snap them off get your hand on there start moving it forward and backwards try and unhinge them it will come off just a bit of persuasion have your weetabix be persistent Once it's off, you're going to get your mirror or your phone up the back there, make sure there's no plastic left on there, and then also on the bottom, just make sure it's all clean, there's no plastic on there at all, because you want to make a good seal when you put the new one on. Grease up the new sump, the gasket, and the hinges, you want to slide it in there as easy as possible. Get it into position, push those front three clips on first, they're the easy ones. So I've fashioned out of some stud, uh, bar, bracket, channel nut, washers, a little piece that can go behind the plate and the main heat exchanger. And then you can alter it to slide along as far as it can go, as far as the sump will let you. But you can just use different pieces and it will cover the whole of the bottom of the sump or just the left or the right. And then you can tighten that channel nut like a wing nut almost and nine times out of ten that clicks those three back clips into place without actually having to use adjustables or anything like that to turn that channel nut so you can do it by hand and if you need to 
you can turn it with your, your grips or a spanner or whatever and that will click it into place. Easy peasy, quickest oh, you can do it in there without doing any damage. It's not the heat only, we've got loads of room. You can literally just turn that, it clicks it all into place. There's not very good visibility on those back three clips, so you have to do your safety checks after to make sure you've made a good seal. Rebuild the boiler in reverse order, grease up what needs to be greased up, fill your trap, do your checks, safety checks, job done. If this has helped you out or you enjoy my videos anyway, give me a thumbs up. It does help the videos and how they do in the long run. If you add me on social media, or on Instagram or Twitter, then you can find some competitions, promotions and some plumbing disasters as well.